Hoy le ganamos. Hello, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, are thank you. I'm I'm very tired. Really? Why? Yes. Um, that word is um, heavy. Yeah, how? I, uh, stressful. <laughs> the stressful. But yeah. but in the mood to learn. And happy Excellent, to as always. Excellent, yes. Ileana, very good. You know what? Whenever you say that, it makes me happy because it, it, it means that you like this and that's why you are improving. Excellent. Now, girls, just let me do some things before starting the class because we are missing a couple of minutes. And I'll be right back just in a moment, all right? What? And I'm happy to see that all of you are connected already. Excellent. <laughs> Good, evening, Good evening, Janti. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Excellent. Very good. Good to see you, Janti. Let's see. Patricia, how are you? Hi, thank you. I am better. You, feel, you, you look better, actually. Uh, what hair? <laughs> no, but you do look better. You look like more enthusiastic than yesterday. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> now my mom has the flu. She got the flu and I'm like, I'm afraid that I'm going to have the flu too, sooner or later. hard times in El Salvador. <laughs> Let's see. How are you, Laura? I'm fine, teacher. I'm me, thank you. Thank you? I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> good, thanks God. Just like with a little bit of issues in the throat, like my voice is like weird, like a man. <laughs> but other than that, it's, it's pretty good. Thanks for asking, Laura. Excellent. Hello there, Adriana. Welcome to see you. Welcome. To, good to see you. <laughs> good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am very, very tired. Tired? Yeah, tired. Oh, yeah, I got you. Traffic. Excellent. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> very good, Adriana. Excellent. Now, listen, my dear students, I'm going to share them. PPT with you, right? There you have it. Today is Tuesday, August 31st, and class number six, right? Listen, this topic that you see in here, how do you spend your day? It's because we haven't finished section two yet, right? We are missing a couple of topics from section two, but actually today, if we have time, we're going to start section three. All right, excellent. Let's move on. Look at this, this is my gift for you. This is my, my gift for you, my dear students. We only have two questions. Send me regalo, solo tienen dos preguntas. Let's see. What is a preposition of time? Ileana. Um, are the some words as a preposition of time? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Do not worry. Do not worry. I'm just checking. How are we doing with relating the information with the questions? Let's see. 
Laura, what is a preposition of time according to you? And preposition of time is kind of preposition we use to discuss some specific time, discuss some specific time, maybe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, you're correct. Are used to express a specific time. Thank you very much. Excellent. Now let's see. Patricia, mention three propositions of time that you remember from yesterday's class. You answer to me? Yeah, to you, Patricia. Ah, um, the propositions uh, are at, in, uh, on. Mm -hmm. Excellent. As, Very at, good. In, and on. Excellent, very really good. Um, do you remember everyone? Let's see, do you remember why do we use at as a preposition of time? Uh, let's see. It's used when 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 we when we have have um time specific specific yes indeed example example uh, we start english class at 8 pm mm -hmm. exactly there you see it very good patricia thank you now, my dear students, time to check. Thank you so much for your participation in this part. Now, as we saw yesterday, a preposition of time, it's a preposition, let's see, let's see, Adriana, it's a preposition? Uh-huh. That allows you to discuss a specific time period, such as a date on the calendar, one of the days of the week, or the actual time something takes place. Excellent, there you have it. So as my dear students mentioned, you use propositions of time when you are referring to a specific time period or period of time, right? And you want to be like pretty deep and specific. You don't want to make everybody to get lost. You just want to tell them this is when it's happening, right? That's when you're using, okay? So yesterday we were talking about the fact that some of these prepositions of times are also used as prepositions of place, right? And we were saying not to get confused with both. Right? So let's see. We have the first one. And I just, just give me one second, everyone. One. Uh, at this preposition of time, you see, just, just to this course. Right. So nice. All right. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. So yesterday we were talking, and actually you were making some examples. Just that, right? That was the preposition. As I remember, it was that. Now let's create one using in. Do not get a candle, or do not by this information, okay? By this specific one, because yes, you can use in for months, nights, and years, okay? So create one sentence using in, please.
Finished? Finish. 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 Excellent. Really good. Let's wait for your classmates and then we're going to share. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. Let's see. Let's start with Ileana. Hi, Ileana. Tell me your sentence. Um, I have a party in the afternoon. Excellent. Really good. Good for you, Ileana. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go with Laura. Okay, teacher. My daughter going to preschool in January. Excellent. Very really good. That's correct. I have one, Nestor. Oh, okay, Nestor. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know in your message. All right. Let's see, Patricia, your sentence. My birthday is in March. All right, excellent, pretty good. Let's go with Adriana. I take a dinner in one hour. All right, I'll, I will take my dinner or a dinner in an hour, it's correct. All right, okay. excellent. Just remember to add the wheel because that's a future action, right? That's a future action. Let's see, Diane. We have a date in the morning. Excellent, very really good. Let's see, Nestor, if you are in, well, if you are in to the class right now and you can answer, you can tell me your sentence. If not, do not worry. All right, let's see, Kevin, what about you? I celebrate my birthday in March. All right, excellent, thank you so much. Now you see everyone, that's how we are rolling it with using in as a preposition. Now let's move on to on, all right? On, we have these examples. We will meet on Friday, future action. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th, all right? So there you have it. Make or create one sentence using on. Finished? Finish. All right, excellent. Now listen, I'm going to say this for the ones that are just arriving into the class. Um, for example, Mary and Veronica, that maybe you were not in class yesterday. Hello, Mary. Hello, Miss. How are you doing? I'm pretty good, and you? Um very good. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Now, uh, Mary, just because yesterday you were not in class, right? So let's see, Veronica, and you, Veronica, you were in class, but then I think you just connect yourself from the class. So you can check yesterday's class on YouTube, right? So I always upload the videos so you can check them so that you will have like a review of what's going on with this, right? So that you're not lost during the class. 
Now, let's start. Let's start with Diane. Let's see, Diane, tell me your sentence. I have to go to work on Saturdays. Excellent, very really good. Adriana, your sentence. Uh, I'm not finished. Ah, you haven't finished, okay. Don't worry. Eliana, your sentence. He works on weekends. Excellent, very really good. Kevin, yes. your sentence. I rest on weekends. All right, excellent. Patricia, what about you? Okay. My son has his first exam on Monday. Excellent, really good. Jancy, what do you have? Uh, I work on Sunday. Excellent, really good. I work on Sundays. Let's see. I'm missing Laura. Let's see, Laura. What you got? We don't work on weekends. All right, excellent. Really good. I, I, I'm feeling that this is like almost pretty easy for you, right? Excellent for everyone. All right, for everyone in the class. So I'm proud of you. Let's see, Adriana. How are we doing now with the sentence? Not yet? Yes, yes, teacher. I eat pizza on Saturday. All right, excellent. I, oh, no. this past Saturday or this coming Saturday? The next. Ah, so I will. I eat. We. Uh -huh. I will eat pizza mm -hmm. on Saturday. On Saturday. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Pretty good. All right. There you have it, everyone. Excellent. Let's move on to adverse of time. Adverse of time. Final. Yay. I'm going to need Nestor, if you can please help me with the reading. Adverse of time. I birth on the time change of the quarterly quarterly and the meaning of the sense the telling of well for how long or how often a certain action happened many other of time are the same as bear of frequency there is quite quite a bit overlap uh, between the two times tapes on mm -hmm. um, other are the finite um, um, number of time Excellent, thank you, Nestor, very good. And I hear you have help and that's amazing, pretty good. I'm happy for you. Let's see, uh, Nestor, repeat after me. Define. Define. Mm -hmm. Define, three times. Define, define. Excellent, really good, all right. Now let's check if Kevin can help us with the reading too, please. Read again. Okay, adverb of time, adverbs of time change or quality, the meaning of a sentence by telling us when, for how long or how often a certain action happening. Many adverbs of time are the same as adverbs of frequency. There is quite a bit of overlap between these two type two types of adverbs are defined as adverbs of time of time Thank you very much repeat after me kevin qualify 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 excellent thank you so much now Last but not least, let's get Diane. Please read the information. Adverbs of time change or qualify the meaning of a sentence 
telling us when or how long or how often a certain action happened. Many adverbs of time are the same as adverbs of frequency. There is quite a bit of overlap between these two types of verbs are defined as adverbs of time. These verbs always answer one important question, when. Exactly. Thank you so much, Diane, Nestor, and Kevin. Thank you for your reading. I was checking how we're doing with the reading. It's, it's pretty great. Now, you may copy this information on your notebooks and listen carefully to this. Did you notice something between adverbs of time and prepositions of place? Let's see, did you notice something? Both of them have the same or different use in another topics, in other topics. I'm telling you this so that you don't, you don't get confused. It's like I explained you yesterday, right? If by any chances you see preposition of time as a preposition of place, you won't get weird, right? You won't be like, what's going on in here? No, you will understand that you can use it either on prepositions of time or prepositions of place. The same happens in here. You can have adverbs of time also as adverbs of frequency, which are pretty much the same, all right? Now, with this, when we are using adverbs of time, we are changing or qualifying the meaning of a sentence because now you're being specific and telling us when is going to happen something, All right? Copy this information on your notebooks, please. Miss, what is what is the meaning of certain? Like a specific? specific. Cierto? Cierto tipo. Certain. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, the good thing is that with adverbs of time, you can also express how long something is going to last, right? And also you can say, as Adriana mentioned, how often a certain action is going to happen, when specifically. Basically, it's pretty much the same, right? You are expressing a specific time. Same thing as prepositions of time. Let's move along. We have these adverbs of time. And check this out. I have also the pronunciation for you because some of them are quite difficult to pronounce. So listen carefully, and then all of you are going to practice. Number one, early. Early. Number two, late. Late. Number three, earlier. Earlier. Look at my mouth earlier. Number four, later, later. Five, then, then. 
six before, before, seven after, after, eight afterwards, afterwards, afterwards. That's that. Number eight is like the most difficult one that we can say. Right now, we're just checking the pronunciation, right? So let's see. I will have um, Laura, please tell me the adverbs of time that are on the screen. Number one, early. Number two, late. Three, earlier. Four, later. Five, then. Six, before. Seven, after. Eight, however. Afterwards. 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 Mm -hmm. Afterwards. Excellent. Afterwards. Very good. Very good, Laura. Eliana, tell me the eight adverbs of time that we have right now. Only eight. Yeah, only the first okay. eight that we have in here. Okay. Afterwards. Oh, no, Elena, from one to eight. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, one, early, mm -hmm. two, late, three, earlier, four, later, five, then, six, before, seven, after, eight, afterward. Thank you very much. Mary, tell me the adverbs of time, please. Okay, number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, earlier. Number four, late. Number six, then. Number six, before. Number seven, after. Number A, after what? Excellent, very really good, Mary. Let's check Jansi. Let's see how are we doing with the pronunciation of adverbs of time, Jansi. Um, number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, early. Number four, later. Number five, then. Number six, before. Number seven, after. Number eight, afterward. Thank you very much, Jancy. Excellent. Kevin, tell me the adverb of time, please. Uh, number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, earlier. Number four, later. Number five, then. Number six, before. Number seven, after. Number eight, afterward. One, all right, excellent. Afterwards, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Let's go with Patricia. <clears throat> Number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, earlier. Number qu number what four? <laughs> Le <laughs> number <laughs> number five then number six before number seven after number eight afterwards excellent thank you veronica tell me the adverbs of time please number one early number two late Number three, earlier. Number four, later. Number five, then. Number six, before. Number seven, after. Number eight, afterward. Excellent, thank you, afterwards, excellent. Let's go with Adriana. One, early, two, late three earlier four later five ten six before seven after eight afterwards All right thank you diane did you already participate or no 
Okay, tell me, Diane. Number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, earlier. Number four, later. Number five, then. Number six, before. Number seven, after. And number eight, afterwards. Excellent, thank you. And last but not least, Nestor. Let's check, Nestor. Number one, early. Number two, late. Number three, er early. Earlier? Earlier, earlier, earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number four, later. Number five, then. Number six, before. Okay. Number seven, after. In number eight, after work. Afterwards. Afterwards. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nestor. All right, great everyone. All of you catch the pronunciation and I hope all of you have the meaning of these adverbs of time because then you're going to practice. Let's go with these other ones. Now listen, I have this big list of adverbs of time so that you are not using the same as always, right? I want you to have a priority of vocabulary. Pretty much uh, something interesting about learning English is to acquire vocabulary. So that's what I need from you, right? So we have the following. Number nine, now. Again, we have early, okay? So let me change this one. 10, around, around, around. 11, currently. Now listen, in here it looks like currently. So you can use currently or currently, either or, okay? There's no anything wrong with that. 12, today, today. 13, tomorrow, tomorrow. 14, yesterday, yesterday, all right? Now copy this on your notebooks and then we're going to practice. Let's start today. Right now we're going to start with Patricia. Okay, Patricia, tell me from nine to 14. The number nine, now. Number 10, around. Number 11, currently. Listen, you can number use currently, currently, or? Uh, uh -huh. Currently. Excellent. Currently. Un ejercicio y este le va a servir a todos. Sorry to interrupt you, Patrice. Disculpe que la interrumpa. Es hacer no, esto. No clic, 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 clic. Cli. Cli. Mm -hmm. Cli. For some reason, as a Salvadorian, and this is Cli. for most of Salvadorians, we have, we have issues when having our tongue in the middle of the teeth. So that's why this is a good exercise. Clay, clay, clay. Currently. Currently. Mm -hmm. Number 12, today. Number 13, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Number 14, yesterday. Excellent. Yesterday. Thank you. Let's go with Adriana. Now, uh, around, around, mm -hmm. around, uh, currently, mm -hmm. today, tomorrow, yesterday. Excellent. Thank you, Diane. Number nine, now, number 10, around, number 11, currently. Number 12 today, number 13 tomorrow, and number 14 yesterday. Excellent, thank you. Veronica. Number nine, now. Number 10, around. 
Number 11, currently. Number 12. 12, today. 13. 15, tomorrow. 14, yesterday. Excellent, very good job. Let's go with Nestor. Number nine, now, number 10, around, mm -hmm. and number 11, uh, correctly. Currently. Current, currently, currently, currently. Number, uh, oops. 12? <laughs> 12, uh, to, today. Three. Thirteen. Three. And tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Number fourteen. Eighth day. Yesterday. Repeat after me. Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Yesterday. Yesterday. Excellent. Thank you, Nestor. Very good job. Let's go with Laura. Okay, number nine, now. Number 10, around. Number 11, currently. Number 12, today. 13, tomorrow. 14, yesterday. Thank you very much. Mary, your turn. Number uh, nine, now. Number around. Currently, today, Hello. tomorrow. Tell me the numbers at the same time. Let's go. I will help. No se preocupe. Yo le ayudo. Okay. okay. And then? Um, number A. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm -hmm. 10 around. 11. Uh, 11. Currently. 12. 12. 12. Today. 13. 13. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, 14. Yesterday. Excellent, Rory. Very good job. Thank you. Kevin, let's check how are we doing. Now, around, currently, today, tomorrow, yesterday. All right. Thank you. Ileana? Nine, now, ten, around, eleven, currently, twelve, today. 13 tomorrow, 14 yesterday. Thank you very much. And lastly, let's see, Jansi. Your turn to practice. Nine, nine, now, 10, around, 11, currently, uh, 12, today, uh, 13, tomorrow, and 14, yesterday. Excellent. All right, everyone. So this is pretty clear now, the pronunciation. It's good that you practice always the vocabulary that you're acquiring. It will be great, believe me. It's going to be so much easier for you to express ideas when you have vocabulary. Now let's go with the guiding examples. Number one. Adriana, please. I usually wake up early in the morning. All right, excellent. You don't need, and, and this is just for some of you. If you don't want to copy this, it's okay. These are just examples. Esto es para que ustedes se guíen. Para mí es súper importante que ustedes tengan ejemplos. Por eso siempre los trato de incorporarlos, all right? Pero si no quieren copiarlo, do not work. That's not a problem. Thank you, Adriana. Number two, Diane. When I wake up, I brush my teeth, then I take a shower. Thank you. Number three, Mary. I exercise every day around uh, 20, 10 a.m. Excellent, thank you. 
Very good. Kevin, four. My sister has dinner very late. Excellent, thank you. Nestor, five. I need to go shopping before I go home. Excellent, very really good. And Veronica, six. Anita needs to buy that is no. Excellent, thank you. So there you have it, everyone. If you notice, in each of this sentence, we are using a number of time, right? So if you want, you can check them. If not, it's okay. But I see some of you are copying, so I will wait some time. All right, so we can move along. We have practice time. Please, Adriana, tell me the instructions. Instructions. One, work individually. Two, create three sentences using adverbs, adverbs of time. Excellent, time. thank you. So you can choose any advert that you want, but I need three sentences, all right? Let's work on it. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me your question, Kevin. Uh, currently, it's the same that actually. Mm, no, actually, it's used like in realidad. For example, I actually went to the shopping mall yesterday. No es lo mismo que actualmente. Okay. Aunque suena como si fuera eso, but it's not. Okay, thank Next. you. Good question, actually.
Have you finished? Finish. Finish. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. There you have it. All right. So we can start. Let's see, Ileana. Tell me your three sentences. Okay. My son will get vaccinated tomorrow. Excellent. Very and good. Two, I get up every day around 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Three, I wake up, wake up later on Sundays. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Late. Late. No se puede decir later. It should be late. I wake late. up late. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Let's go with. Um, let's see, Diane, your sentence. I go to bed around 11 p.m. Just one or the three? The three. Ah, pardon. Uh, sorry. <laughs> First, I go shopping, then, I have a dessert. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I went to a new restaurant. Excellent, pretty good. Thank you, Diane. Thank you. Let's go with Patricia. When I am sick, I take some medicine, then I feel better. Excellent. Number two, my son always goes to bed late. Excellent. Number three, my husband usually has a has breakfast at 6 a.m. There you have it. Thank you very much. Excellent. Let's go with let's see. Let's see, Kevin. What do you have in the sentences? First, tomorrow I going to work. Second, uh, currently I'm learning English. Third, I take a shower before to go to my work. All right, before going to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you very much. Pretty good. Let's go with Laura. Number one. I go to gym around 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Number two, everybody wake up earlier on weekdays. And number three, sometimes I work at night, then go to bed around 1 a.m. Wow, very good, pretty good. Thank you, Laura, excellent. Let's go with Nestor. Let's see, Nestor, what you have. Um, tomorrow afternoon, I will have the pupusas for diner. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> then I go to sleep early. And to get up early to go to work. All right, excellent. Very good. You have another one? No. All right, excellent, Nestor. Very good. Thank you. Just uh, number one, I get up very early at 6 a.m. Number two, I leave work very late. Uh, number three, see you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, excellent, very really good. Late, very late. In number two is very late. All right. Very late. Excellent. Thank you, Jancy. Pretty good job. Mary. I eat early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I prepare dinner at seven o'clock. I work on weekend. Uh -huh. And what are my adverse of time? You are using prepositions of time, and that's correct. But you need to use also adverbs of time, right? Okay. Thank you, Mary. 
Let's go with Veronica. Let's see, Veronica, what you have. Okay. I am booster right now. Um, Javier usually make up early every morning. And the um, other one? <laughs> I exercise. I exercise. I exercise. Ah. I, I exercise at 6 a.m. around. Around 6 a.m. All right, excellent, Veronica. That's great. Very good. And Adriana, don't believe that I forget about you, Adriana. Tell me. I'm not sure, but I tell, I tell. Let's try. I want, I want to eat now. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will take my, di my dinner lately tonight. Later tonight? Later, later tonight. And I don't took <laughs> my dinner early today. Right. Excellent, thank you. I didn't take my dinner today. Only that one, I didn't, right? I didn't. Mm -hmm. Excellent, Adriana, very good. Now you see everyone. That's what I need from you. That's what I want. You practice and you accomplish your goals and that's great. Let's move forward. Demonstrative pronouns. We have this, this, that, those. Let's check the information. Diane, please help me with number one and number two. This and this. This is for singular and near, and this is for plural and near. Excellent, thank you. Kevin, and the other one and two, please. That and those. Uh -huh. That equals? Equals singular part. Mm -hmm. Two, those equals plural part. Exactly. It means that we can use this, like with C at the end. That's the differentiation between these two, right? Let's pay attention to this one. This, this, number one. This, number two. This, number one. This number two, it's, it's stronger. The sound is a stronger in number in number two. All right. Now it's telling me with this short information, it's telling me that I use this for singular, for example, this bottle of water. This bottle of water is my bottle of water. But I'm using this because it's near me. Now, if I put this bottle in my, let's suppose I have another bottle, it becomes this, this, all right? This, I have plural, I have more than one. And those subjects are near to me. They are still near to me, all right? Do not worry, I have some examples for you. Let's see, Jancy, huh? Uh, how do you say uh, near? Near? Or what's the meaning? You want to know the meaning? Uh, in Spanish, near? Cerca o cercano. Oh, okay. Y far? Lejos o lejano. Thank you. Right. Excellent. Very good. Now, very good. That's like the base of everything. Uh, according to demonstratives, right? Now, let's check. We have this conversation, but before going to the conversation, I have this example. Let's see. Mary, please read this information. We use? We use is with this and that are for this and those. Excellent, thank you, right? 
So I use my singular verb to be is with this and that. And I use my plural verb to be for, uh, my plural verb to be are for this and those. Now I have these examples. Please, Laura, tell me the, the examples. These are my books. Those are my books. These are my books for me, and those are my books for me. Excellent. Thank you. Right? So if my books are far, I'm going to use those for Pluto. If my books are near to me, let's suppose, let's suppose these are my books. If my books are near to me, I'm going to use, right? And let me check. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation or something else related to this? Not teacher. No. All right, everything's clear. Let's go with another example. Let's see. Jansi, please read the first sentence. And this is my cup of coffee. Uh, here, it's near, right? Near. Ready here. Number two, Patricia. That is my cup of coffee. Far. Yes. Far. Yes. There you have it. Now, with this being said, I want you now listen. This is this topic, it's pretty much simple because you don't have a lot of a structure to work with, right? So <clears throat> what I want you right now is just to create one sentence using this. In one sentence using that right now, okay? Teacher. Yes, Adriana. I have a question. Mm -hmm. This and that is is only a, a, a things or, or, or for for people too. Oh uh, yeah, it's for people. For example, you can say this is my sister. If you have it like in here, right? This is my sister. Or you can say that is my father. Y, y when the person is near, is near near. This cerca de nosotros. Mm -hmm. We use you this. can use this, this. Mm -hmm. Because in Spanish you say esta es mi hermana es como ofensivo. Ah yeah, but in English it's not. <laughs> Do not ah, worry. Okay. In English okay. we have worse things. Tenemos peores cosas. All right, so that's not <laughs> offensive at all. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sí es cierto. ¿Por qué se ofenderán cuando uno dice esta? <laughs> I don't get it. In, in Spanish is uh, the difference is that ella. Uh -huh. But I don't know why, but because yeah, as Adriana said, it's like offensive for some people. If I say, esta es mi hermana. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with that? <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, now listen, I hope you already finished. And what you're going to do is that tomorrow we are going to check those sentences. And I want to ask for something from you. If you can, please have some objects on your desk tomorrow, all right? Some objects, you can have books, you can have pencils, erasers, 
any objects they want. But I need you to have like pairs of things or three things about one object. You you can you will see what you want to use. But I need you to have those objects tomorrow. We're going to work with that, all right? Um, something else before leaving the class, my dear students, is that if you have any doubt about one exercise or you have questions about a specific exercises from the platform, remember, you can always text me and tell me, Miss, can you help me with this? Miss, how can I do this, all right? I don't want you to lose in the platform and I want to help you, right? So if you have any questions, you can ask. We are going to stop the class in here. Uh, it's good for you because you will have dinner, <laughs> all right? So thank you so much for attending to your class and see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.